In the space of science and monstrous secrets, the subject of what existed beforehand to the monstrous blast has mixed discussions and fascinated characters for a surprisingly long time. This gigantic demand doesn't simply test how we could translate the universe. It challenges the certified farthest restrictions of human information. Envision standing at the edge of existence, investigating the epic shadowing, and contemplating what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The occasion of the huge explosion denoted the dawn of mankind, space, and all that we know. In any case, was there a moment sooner, beforehand? Could there at any point have been a state of nothingness, a quiet previously, before the enormous gathering began? And if this is valid, was it? Or maybe there was something considerably more disturbing that existed already, before time itself. As we bounce further into this inquiry, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's starting point into contemplations that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his examination concerning the marvels of the universe, suggests that something amazing could have existed before the huge explosion. He moves us to re-examine our thinking of the real world and existence. In this assessment, we'll examine the science, the hypothesis, and the astonishing insider mysteries that may help us understand what existed before all that. We'll explore contemplations like grandiose development, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The responses we've uncovered may very well deaden you, but they could likewise open new understandings of our situation in the universe. Prepare to jump deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still winds around the shadows, leaving researchers amazed and sometimes even disturbed. We should investigate what existed before the Big Bang and why these speculations challenge all that we assumed we knew. To appreciate what might have existed previously, the Big Bang, we first need to carefully investigate what the Big Bang really was. The Big Bang, as researchers characterize it, alludes to the second when the universe turned out to be incredibly hot and thick, developing quickly to set off the advancement of all matter, energy, and endless forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see evidence of this hot starting, with universes fanning out all over from a beginning phase. Anyway, why did this occur? Moreover, was there a period previously this thick, hot beginning? As shown by the hypothesis of gigantic development, there was indeed a formerly, and it was far from being a void or tranquil. Gigantic extension recommends that before the huge bang, the universe was in an express that was cold, empty, and free, basically like a tremendous vacuum. In any case, this vacuum wasn't completely unfilled. It contained a tremendous measure of energy that fueled the fast expansion of room itself. This extension, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it fundamentally laid out the basis for all that would go on in a piece of the resulting space. It extended at inconceivable rates until the extension dialed back and the energy changed into issue particles and the forces we see as the huge explosion. Yet, what was the nature of this energy? For what reason did it unexpectedly become the universe? And for what reason did it stop? Subject matter experts trust that this boundless extension made patches of the universe, each encountering its own huge explosion. Envision a texture expanding unendingly, with tiny air pockets forming here and there. Each air pocket represents a universe including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are perhaps boundless enormous bangs and an endless number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This tremendous, mind-bending reality challenges how we might interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the inquiry. What else is out there? The possibility of nothingness before the huge bang is speculative, not genuine, at least according to our ongoing comprehension. Whether or not you dispose of all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly void. Our universe is loaded up with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and different forces that weave an inescapable, interconnected fabric of something, even in its most empty design. Paying little mind to whether we imaginatively strip away all of these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still produce new kinds of energy. This reality alone is dazzling to experts, as it proposes that genuine nothingness may be impossible within our boundless cognition. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that keep it from being thoroughly unfilled. 
Envision making a district with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy, except for quantum fields and significant constants. These would still exist, proposing that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's an eccentricity called zero-point energy, which represents the most inconceivable energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still quickly appear and vanish, making a creepy reverberation of development, even in what should be vacant space. This challenges what we would consider a genuine void and proposes that yes, even before the huge explosion, there was something that researchers are just beginning to understand. Quite possibly one of the most bewildering speculations in current cosmology is the opportunity of ageless extension. If inflation could make our universe exist, it's conceivable it could proceed perpetually. Brian Cox describes an immensely vast inflationary multiverse, where universes are constantly made and continue growing. Envision each huge explosion as a streak lighting another universe, while inflation goes on in various regions, creating incalculable different universes. This cycle could, in principle, happen forever. This thought of numerous universes births the captivating concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe may in fact create its own huge explosion. Each universe exists as a separate, autonomous space, unaffected by the others, due to the rapid expansion of space. For scientists, this speculation is both exciting and disturbing, as it suggests an endless multiverse with no conclusive start or end. Envision our universe being only the smallest bit in a gigantic, infinite design, perpetually growing and continually making new universes. And imagine the upsetting reality. There is no previously or later, but instead an ageless pattern of universes forming and decaying. How we might interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't simply a variety of matter drifting in space. Maybe it's a perplexing organization of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to make all that we notice. These fields are like imperceptible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their most minimal energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still dynamic. Particles can show up and vanish in these fields instantly, getting energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, substances that quickly exist and then disappear, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the possibility of a genuine void. Envision an unfilled universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are taken out. Would you have total emptiness? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay dynamic, sometimes creating transient particles. This constant movement, in what should not be anything, proposes that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of void. The fields and forces break through, filling the universe with a secret energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This grasping raises a charming question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have risen out of this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dull energy is a baffling power that, as of now, drives the sped-up expansion of our universe. However, did dull energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain points of view, the way that dark energy exists today is an echo of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy appear to suggest a giant, stowed away force that could have existed in some form before the Big Bang. A few speculations recommend that dark energy, in a much stronger state, might have controlled the inflationary stage, causing quick development. The presence of dark energy proposes that whether or not our universe were depleted of all matter and radiation, this power would continue to grow the fabric of space-time. This thought prompts a disturbing inquiry. Assuming that dark energy was present before the Big Bang, might it at any point have formed the conditions that prompted the introduction of our universe? Might dark energy at some point be the quiet modeler of expansion, or even in the genuine start of our universe? As we investigate this chance, we face the potential of dark energy not simply as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could open the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis that offers an alternative to the Big Bang as a definitive start is cyclic cosmology, which suggests that the universe goes through vast patterns of birth, death, 
and revival. In this model, the Big Bang is certainly not a one-time event, but may be part of an immortal cycle where universes expand, collapse, and then recover in another cycle. This hypothesis suggests that our universe could have been reawakened from the remains of a past universe. The interaction of withdrawal and expansion in a cyclic pattern would really mean that there was never a true beginning, but instead an everlasting series of universes arising, developing, and restoring themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology raises critical inquiries about time, as it proposes that time itself may be recurrent rather than linear. Assuming this hypothesis is right, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was simply one more version of the universe, one that imploded solely to give birth to our current universe. For scientists, this hypothesis offers a rich answer to the question of extreme origins, suggesting that there is no evident start. The universe has always existed in some form, rising above our thoughts of time and presence. Gravitational waves are another fascinating idea that could hold hints to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive astronomical events, and scientists believe early-stage waves, if ever detected, could uncover insights into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as the reverberations of what preceded the Big Bang. Should they be detected, they could provide proof of the universe's past states. The potential discovery of early-stage gravitational waves would be a significant breakthrough in our understanding of cosmology and may open the answers to what preceded the Big Bang. Consequently, the mystery of what existed before the Big Bang is one of the most significant riddles in science. From the inflationary multiverse to dark energy and cyclic cosmology, the speculations are as varied as they are mind-boggling. However, they all highlight one tempting possibility, that our universe, and maybe numerous others, could have always been part of an everlasting cosmic cycle or a vast multiverse. Though the answers may elude us for the present, they continue to challenge how we might interpret time, presence, and reality itself, leaving us forever searching for what lies beyond the universe's birth. To further investigate the mysteries of what might have existed before the Big Bang, we need to consider some of the more extreme speculations that challenge our conventional understanding of physics and reality. One such hypothesis involves the concept of quantum gravity, which is an area of physics aiming to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. Both of these theories are incredibly successful in their respective domains, yet they are fundamentally incompatible. Quantum mechanics excels at explaining the behavior of small particles at minuscule scales, while general relativity governs the behavior of large-scale structures like galaxies and black holes. The search for a theory of quantum gravity could hold the key to understanding what occurred before the Big Bang, as it could explain how space and time themselves behave at the smallest scales. One of the most promising candidates for a quantum theory of gravity is loop quantum gravity, LQG. In LQG, the fabric of space-time is not a smooth, continuous substance, as general relativity suggests, but rather made up of discrete pieces or loops at the smallest scale, called the Planck scale. According to this theory, space-time could have a granular structure, and time itself may not have existed in the conventional sense before the Big Bang. If this theory is correct, the concept of before the Big Bang may be meaningless. Rather than time extending back infinitely, there could have been a pre-Big Bang phase in which the classical notion of time breaks down entirely. This would make the question of what preceded the Big Bang largely unanswerable, at least within the framework of our current understanding. Another intriguing hypothesis to consider is the holographic principle. This idea proposes that the entire universe, as we experience it, may be a sort of hologram, with the true essence of reality encoded on a lower dimensional surface, much like how a two-dimensional hologram can create the illusion of a three-dimensional object. According to the holographic principle, all of the information that describes our universe could, in theory, exist on the boundary of space-time. In this view, the Big Bang should be seen not as the beginning of the physical universe, but as the event when the information on the boundary of the universe became real, creating the space-time we observe. If this hypothesis holds true, it could mean that the concept of before the Big Bang does not exist, as the universe's boundaries and structure might be part of a larger, more complex reality. Additionally, Another possibility involves the concept of eternal inflation. Eternal inflation is an extension of the inflationary Big Bang model, 
suggesting that our universe is part of an endless process of inflationary bubbles, each bubble representing a separate, independent universe, while the space between them continues to expand. In this model, there is no clear beginning to the universe. Rather, it suggests a universe that is endlessly producing new regions, with each new region experiencing its own Big Bang, essentially creating an infinite number of universes. This idea reiterates the multiverse hypothesis, but is more firmly grounded in the physics of inflationary cosmology. If eternal inflation is correct, it could imply that the Big Bang wasn't the start of the universe, but merely one event in an eternal and infinite process. One of the more philosophically challenging hypotheses that attempts to answer what existed before the Big Bang involves the anthropic principle. This principle suggests that the universe is in some ways fine-tuned to support life, implying that the conditions of our universe are not random but are suited for the development of living things, such as humans. Some forms of the anthropic principle propose that the reason the universe began the way it did is that, in a multiverse of infinite possible universes, only those with the right conditions for life would permit conscious beings to observe and question their existence. This would suggest that what preceded the Big Bang is not really significant in a cosmological sense, but is significant in an existential one. If this principle holds any truth, it may be interpreted to mean that our universe's origins are inherently tied to our ability to observe and contemplate them, before becoming a general concept dependent on the presence of observers. Another point of approach is through the study of black holes, particularly in the context of the Big Bounce hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that instead of the universe starting with a singularity, it may have undergone a massive collapse, a big crunch, that eventually bounced back, leading to the current expanding universe. In this model, the universe may have gone through countless cycles of contraction and expansion, with each cycle preceded by a collapse that mirrors what happens inside a black hole. If black holes are gateways to other dimensions or forms of existence, this could offer a clue into what existed before our Big Bang, suggesting that the Big Bang was not a true beginning but the latest in a series of cosmic cycles, each one born from the collapse of its predecessor.